have point A and point B. The question might be what bearing what bearing is B from A? So what bearing is B from A? So what we're going to do first of all is we're going to start at A and we're going to and we're going to do a north pole. So that would be what direction is the north pole? Okay. A bearing is basically a direction, but it's a way of giving a particular direction. And what you, if you have a look at this um, revision guide over here, the answer is going to be um, a, a degree, and it's always have three digits. Okay, so if, for example, the it was thirty four degrees, like over here, then you would actually give zero three four degrees. Okay. Uh, I guess that's just in case um, to stop any sort of mistakes like 34 degrees, you might have missed off the zero at the end. So it's just reducing mistakes, but it's, um, but anyway, so zero, three, four. Anyway, so what is that angle? Well, it's the angle from the, from the direction of north to the direction of where um, it is. So that's, that's the direction of where B is from A. So the bearing is this angle here. So let's say that angle was 35 degrees, then uh, the, the bearing is 0, 3, 5 degrees. Does that make sense? So um, when it gets a little bit confusing is um, if we had, and this is the typical, the kind of thing that they might try and catch you out. Let's say uh, we've got point X, and then we've got point Y um, up here. So we start off again by drawing the, you know, what bearing is X to Y? We start off by drawing the North Pole, supposed, that's supposed to be straight. Um, and then we, what direction is Y from X? It's over here. And the mistake people make is drawing that angle, which looks like it, that would make sense, right? But if that angle was uh, 35 degrees, you can see that I would, uh, if I read, oh, the bearing is 035, you can see, well, that would suggest it's the same direction as B, but it's not, is it? Okay. So what you do is you measure, that's why I said I always do it clockwise. So I've gone, I've gone the wrong way there, haven't I? I've gone anti-clockwise. So I, want, I don't want to do that. What I want to do instead is I want to go clockwise. So, um, whoops, no. Oh. So it's, we're going to draw... We're going to draw a, a, a circle clockwise this time. Let's use a different color so we can see it a bit more. Oh, I already, I'm going to pick orange. I'm going to go from here. We're going to go clockwise. Can you see I'm drawing it clockwise? I'm going to go all the way around. Okay. And the angle uh, the other way around clockwise is actually going to be, well, if a full circle would be 360 degrees, wouldn't it? Now, if that angle there, if that angle there is 35, then it's going to be 360 take away 35, isn't it? Because it's because it's the rest of the circle minus that 35. So the bearing in this case, if that angle is 35, okay, if that angle inside here is 35, then the bearing would be 360 minus 35, which would be 325 degrees. Okay, so that would be the bearing in that case. Okay, so. So really, um, that's the main thing you need to know about bearings. And then the rest of it is just kind of like wording. There's a lot of um, the way they word questions is, is quite tricky. Um, so we've got an example here. The bearing from Z, uh, the bearing of Z from Y, okay, of Z. So again, what direction is Z from Y um, is 110. Find the bearing of Z, sorry, of Y from Z. So now we're imagining starting off at Z, and we're going the opposite direction. Um, and so it was 110 going from Y to Z from the North Pole. And now we want to know what direction is it from uh, Z back to Y? Well, this time we're going to have to go all the way around clockwise to go backwards. Now, what they did is they, is they, um, 
they started off using the parallel lines rule and that is uh, when these if these two lines here are parallel then those angles a and b will add up to 180. so a plus b is equal to 180 degrees now that means if we know that if we know that a is equal to 110 degrees then b must equal to 80 degrees but of course we know remember that um we have to go all the way oh did i miss no i miscounted it um 70 degrees so b is 70 degrees because we need to add up to 180 does that make sense yeah so um so yeah these two must add up to 180 so a plus c is because these are parallel lines it's just a parallel lines rule or one of the parallel lines rule um allied angles there you go um so the bearing is going to be from the other way around so it's going to be 360 minus 70 right and that's what's equal that's equal to 290 okay so we'll have a go at a couple of example questions now okay